Anybody with experience should know this. Not super long. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe my foot in a circular pattern, trapping his foot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maneuver over to the side so the body triangle's on the bottom. Okay, right now Jeff's crazy about to tap right now. And I haven't done anything. Teach me grappling. I'm back. Brian Peterson, got Jeffrey Simon here. Nice shirt right here. Thank you, thank you. How'd you do at that tournament? One, one, lost one. One, one, lost one. So, never give up, guys. You win one, you lose one, you just get back in the gym. It's no big deal. It's good to get a little taste like that because you get the victory, you get that feeling, and then you also get the defeat. You get back in the gym, work on your mistakes. So that's a good thing. All right, guys, this week what we're working on is a lot of back control stuff, and I want to just show something. This isn't, again, revolutionary or anything. It's just to help the beginners out there. So this is basics to learn about the body triangle. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the body triangle, guys. What is the body triangle? Okay, if I have the back control and I get a standard position here, you guys could use your hooks. It's perfectly cool to use hooks to hold somebody, but using a body triangle is like just better most of the time. But it depends on you. So everybody's built differently, and some people are gonna be built well enough. Actually, Jeff's actually not the best partner for me to practice on, but because he's kind of he's thick and stocky. So but watch, I'm gonna step on his thigh right here, and I'm pushing his thigh down as I move my leg across, okay? So from the hooks, I step. I don't want him to be able to trap my foot and not let me. Let's say he went like this, let's just say. Yeah, do that. And then I, I can't pull it out, you know? So I'm like stepping, I clear my foot, and I'm clearing the space so I can move my foot to here, okay? And then now once I'm here, I wanna lock a triangle. Get a, a figure four behind my leg, and then I want to flex my foot like that to make it tight. And when you guys get this type of hold, one, you can put a squeeze on the guy. And then there's also a lot of leverage. You could actually submit some people with this. If you get a guy in the belly down position, go ahead, roll over to your belly. If I get a guy in the belly down position with a body triangle, uh, this is illegal in wrestling. Okay, in the sport of wrestling, we don't allow this. Uh, in the old days, you could. I wasn't wrestling at the time when the body triangle was still allowed. I wanna say it was probably in the early 70s, maybe late 60s, when they took it out. I'm just kinda guessing though. You old guys out there can let me know. So this position, if I arch forward like this, I can put a lot, of, I don't have a cup, but if you had a cup, it'd be even worse on the spine. But just that when you, when you need to. I'm gonna arch right here, and he's already starting to tap because I can hurt his back in this belly down position. Okay, if you wanted to add to it, I could wrap around his body, just giving him a nice hug, and I can just pull. I'm not choking him at all, I'm just giving him a hug. So, that right there is uh, possible, okay? Uh, long time ago in the UFC, I believe it was, uh, Ivan Salivary? I believe it was Ivan Salivary. Check my memory, watch. Tony Frickland? I'm gonna throw that out there. I did not research it. I wanna say it was Ivan Salivary, to Tony Frickland. Look up that fight and hit him with a body triangle and literally just arched him into submission. Okay, so you guys wanna know how to do this. It's great control. Again, right here I would be hand fighting and then working on my choke. And then when I have the choke, I can squeeze that body triangle and it really intensifies everything, okay? So, real easy. One last time, guys, look, super easy. Here, step on it, bring my leg across, lock that body triangle, flex my foot, okay? And squeeze nice and tight, okay, like this. And then now, work for your chokes. Now, can you get this on me? Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough, see, look at 
Why did we use Jeff? Oh gosh, how many of you in your academy look like Jeff? Oh my God. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> is, if he gets it on me, I'm dying right now. This is not the best choice for this video. I should have had Eddie. Go ahead, go try it again. Okay, we're gonna pretend, guys. But look, oh yeah, that's perfect, okay. So I'm under a lot of tension right now. Okay, so you just hang in there, buddy. Okay, so here's one of the defenses you guys wanna know. His legs are on the side. So a lot of people think there's no foot lock. If you guys have a guy with a f uh, crossed ankles here, I can bring one of my legs over and triangle, and then I can push and submit his leg in the crossed angle position. This is commonly known. This one I'm showing you is a little less known, but now all of you guys that didn't know this, I know all the, anybody with experience should know this. Uh, now you know, with a body triangle, what can you do, especially to people like Jeff, if they're not super long, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe my foot in a circular pattern, trapping his foot, okay, trapping it so that he cannot take it out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maneuver over to the side so the body triangle's on the bottom. Okay, right now Jeff's crazy about to tap right now. and I haven't done anything. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. No, you're not wrong. Okay, all right. Now, if you guys want to, you can cross your legs right here. I don't feel the need, it's super tight. I'll just post my foot on the mat for leverage. I'm gonna arch my back. At the same time, I'm gonna put stress, add stress by pushing against his leg. I don't need to right now. I can literally just, right there. A little bit of hip, and this foot is getting foot locked. Okay, so without me doing, see this? These toes are trapped under here, and with my hip doing this, if he could unlock, he would just unlock because it would pop his lock and then you could escape and get out of the back control. So that commonly happens as well. Sometimes you'll have a guy, you'll get him here, he'll try to body triangle you, you'll attempt to trap his leg, you'll go to the side, but maybe his toes have room, not that one, but I don't, I'm, I don't wanna hurt you either. Yeah. I trapped this one really good, but this one has room to, if you can get in close, Charles, so you can see these angles. This one has room to pop out. Can you? No, it's not gonna pop out. It's not gonna pop out? I'm gonna give you room. And it'll pop out. If it pops out while you were trying to submit him, don't be, be upset with it. Just say, all right, it's fine. Now this foot is trapped, so he can't get two hooks. And now I'm putting all the weight on his leg. Try to move your left leg. See, it's really hard. I'm like crushing his leg with my body. And now you're trying to pull me and move me. You know, and I'm keeping the weight as I slide my back to the mat, and then I can escape the back control and get out. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a move, we have a body triangle, and then we have a counter to the body triangle. Now, I gotta tell you this. If you got somebody in your gym, or you're competing against somebody who's long and thin, it's not gonna work, okay? So here's the basic rule, okay? If when they make a body triangle, they, are, they have ballerina feet, it will probably work. But if they do a body triangle and their foot is like this, okay, then it's not gonna work. So like a regular triangle, when you make a triangle, just lay back, you wanna be like this. If the feet are like this, you putting, you're not gonna put any stress on this foot. In order to put stress on it, you need the ballerina feet, you need this over the toes, and then now you can see right here, okay, if, I were, if you kept that locked, and if I were to pull, you would feel stress on yeah. your foot, and it would start to foot lock you. If you kept that down, yeah, you oh, would yeah. start, yeah, you see that, that already yeah. starts to tap you, just from me pulling here. So, if somebody's here, it's not gonna be realistic. So you need to know this move, but you also need to know that it may not work, and at high levels, if you look at the majority of the best guys in the world, they're all built kind of lanky. There's a few that are built really short and stocky, and those guys just don't body triangle, okay? Or if they do body triangle, they're ultra flexible, and the guy they're going against is so thin, they can make the lock. So, what do we wanna do with a body triangle? 
we want to go to the side of the lock. I want to go to the side of the lock, trap it, right? So I want to make a foot trap it, and then I want to arch and push, okay? That's what I'd like to do. Now, that's also a reason why people are going to switch on you. So he'll start switching the body triangle, and then, boom, I'll try to trap it on this side. And when I try to trap it, he needs to escape and then try to do the switch, okay? Every time, so that his body triangle is on the high side, okay? Now, the super long flexible guys, they don't care one way or another, okay? Some of them don't care, some do, everybody's different. Okay, there's guys out there where I know, they don't care what side you put them on. And then other guys, it, it won't tap them, but they still think it's uncomfortable. So they'll switch, okay? So you need to know this move, it's very, very important. Um, I had, long time ago, somebody had told me, uh, I like to body triangle because nobody can foot lock me. You know, because if you cross your legs, you get foot locked. But if you body triangle, you can't be foot locked. But there is that foot lock right there. So, and if you are body triangling and you're susceptible to this type of foot lock, you want to make sure that you keep your foot away. You hide your foot so that the guy can't reach out and swipe and trap your foot on you. Again, you'll see some guys just put it there on purpose and they'll hide their foot under there and they don't care because it doesn't put any stress on them. Okay, so anyway, this, this technique is really important to understand guys, even if it's not in your game, you need to have this knowledge. Uh, this is valuable knowledge. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jeff, you helped us out today. Got those little short legs. What are you gonna do? We're gonna get uh, like leg lengtheners? We'll see. We can look up those on Amazon. Maybe Amazon has leg lengtheners, okay? So uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys supporting this channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new technique. Thank you.